everyone! Welcome back to another video from Face Paint Forum Shop. Today we've got a really beautiful princessy design using uh, stencils designed by Denise Cold. I'm your rep, Lily. Let's get started. So here we go. This is the newest set from the Denise Cold line of uh, booth stencils here at our shop at facepaintforumshop.com. So we're going to be using these today as well as this Sparkling Faces practice board. I love these boards, they're so beautiful. And um, so we're gonna use her today. I believe her name's Angelina. So this one is the castle stencil, Princess Castle. You can do it with a cheek art um, or on the forehead. We're gonna use it, uh, we're gonna create a mask and use it as the centerpiece. All right, so I've got a Wicked Art sponge here. It's uh, shaped like a heart, actually. <clears throat> and I've loaded, um, it's a pink and white one stroke. I tend to like blend my colors a lot. So, and it doesn't really bother me. So <laughs> I went ahead and used what was close by. And so I'm gonna create sort of a V shape here in the center. I'm just really looking for that pink shade. So here I've got a piece of black cardstock and I've rounded off the corners so that I can cover the eye and uh, face paint over it. This way I don't have to clean the eyes uh, right after I'm done sponging. Ta-da! Alrighty, now the other side. And so as of right now, we're just laying down a base. Um, like I said, I just wanted a, a pink shade, um, sort of sort of dark, because we are gonna stencil the um, princess castle and some birds. So I definitely want those stencils to stand out. Ta-da! Now I know she looks like a caveman, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna get better, I promise. So here we're gonna use the Princess Castle stencil right in the center of the forehead. Don't forget to um, hold it down with your other two fingers. And I'm using a sponge jobber. I love these for these beautiful detailed stencils. Now I'm gonna take some iridescent glitter and I don't have my poof bottle nearby, so I'm just using my finger and blotting it on the castle. Now this is the only part that's gonna have glitter. Yay! So you can see how well that stands out. So now I've got my sponge jobber, the same one with white, and I'm gonna use these cloud stencils. And you'll see how I'm using the top of them to create that perfect cloud shape. And then I'm gonna use my sponge dauber to sort of blend out a little bit and make the cloud a little larger. Alrighty, so again, I'm going to use my sponge jobber to blend it out, make it a little bit larger. And we'll do one more cloud here. All right, now I'm loading with this, I believe it's a global one stroke. Um, I'm using only this um, violet bluish color. It's um, at the end of that global one stroke and I'm, I'm leaving it there so you can take a look. I'm um, also using my low Cornell round number three. So I wanted her eyeliner to be just a little bit prominent. 
Um, I would do this on an older child, not necessarily like a toddler. And uh, I'm creating a mask. So I'm going around and creating the sockets of the eyes. We're gonna add some um, teardrops here in the center. Now we're gonna add some birds that are on these amazing stencils. So I'm gonna add the bigger birds up top. And I took a different sponge dauber and loaded that same color, that same uh, violet bluish tone from that global one stroke. Here's another bird. And so what I'm trying to do is, um, so the birds are going in certain directions on the stencil. I really want them to look like they're flying all towards the top of that castle. So I'm turning them in a way that it looks like they're all going towards that center point of the castle. We'll use the two smaller birds on the cloud stencil for the bottom of the eyes. Just wanted a little bit of, um, cute, uh, cute uh, design here at the bottom. All right, now we've got Super Star Teal loaded on my round low crown number three. And we're gonna create some line work. So because this is a princessy mask um, and the castle is the centerpiece, we're just gonna create some um, line work and uh, filigree here just around that center point, which is that castle. Of course, we'll add dots. And now I've loaded Superstar White. So I felt like it needed one more color and definitely a bright one. So I decided to go with white. And uh, we're gonna create some more teardrops, a little bit of filigree, and dots, of course. And remember that what you do on one side, you wanna do as symmetrical as you can on the other. It never comes out perfect. <laughs> um, so, you know, not to worry about that. Um, with practice, you get better. And so as you notice, I'm adding some very small, tiny detail dots. Um, I'm only gonna add these on the darkest part of this design. That way it pops out. And we'll add some larger to smaller size dots right under the eyes. I was thinking about doing some, um, some teardrops, but I thought, nah, we'll just do dots. I think the top part of this mask is pretty extravagant, um, so we'll just, we'll just use dots on the bottom.
Alrighty. So here we go. I've taken some Superstar White, mixed it with my Superstar um, Ceri uh, to get a pink shade. And here we just go ahead and uh, give her a little bit of lipstick here. Alrighty, there we go. That's the finished look. I really love how these colors come together. And the, like I said, the only part that sparkles is that castle. So head over to facepaintforumshop.com. Check out this line of stencils. And um, hope to see you in the next one. Thank you, guys.